What's up? Welcome. Today's question of the day is, who is one artist that gets slept on way too much? Because I think that's space variations. Today topic of the video. We're checking out a new song by them called Tribe. They dropped an album a few years ago called Imago and we checked it out together and it was a lot of fun. This was like an in industrial electronic metalcore type thing. These guys are from Ukraine so they're my fellow Ukrainians and they're awesome. They're truly amazing. They are currently touring Europe. So if you like this, try and catch them on tour. But this is Tribe, new song on Napalm Records. Let's check it out. This is Space of Variations, ladies and gentlemen. Let's jump straight into it. Let's do it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I like that. Sampled choir. Oh, he's spinning. Ooh, ooh, this verse. Holy shit. What a cool verse. <laughs> Okay, holy shit. Ooh, that's Gojira-esque. God damn these visuals. These vocals are ripping. These vocals are ripping hard. Hell yes. Space of Variations. This is Tribe, a new track from the boys from Space of Variations. Let's talk about it, shall we? All right, so that kind of hit me like a truck. Um, <laughs> Tribe, Space of Variations, new single from our boys. Um, God damn, what, a, what an interesting new track from them. It's kind of... It kind of doesn't have the usual uh, Space of Variations chorus, you know, where there's a bit of a more melodic, softer twist in the middle of the song. However, in this particular song, there was that beautiful bridge section uh, with Ukrainian lyrics. And honestly, coupled, coupled with the visuals of the music video, it's um, really powerful and it's really striking. And I feel like you can sort of understand what's happening in the lyrics and the music overall. 
uh, just by kind of connecting those dots. They are Ukrainian, so I think you could get what exactly they're talking about, you know, the war, the invasion, and um, kind of the emotions coupled with it. And, you know, it's important stuff to talk about. It's important stuff to put into art to kind of make it timeless, to make it more accessible to wider um, areas of people. Just today, Russia hit Odessa, which is uh, one of the bigger cities in Ukraine, and killed more than 20 people. They hit one spot, and then once the emergency service workers came uh, to aid those who were injured or killed, in the first strike, they struck again the same spot, killing uh, those who were helping. So this stuff is happening every day, and I'm uh, I'm I'm super happy that we get art pieces like this, kind of encapsulating these emotions. Um, in a very real way into music, like Space of Variations. And, you know, the lyrics of this song, I want it real, I don't want to fake it, that's that's true for them because these guys have been torn from home because of the war. They've been, they've been, you know, they've been able to tour, they've been able to write music, but they torn away from, from their home, from their country. And I'm so thankful to bands like them, to artists like them, for uh, talking about important stuff like this, real stuff like this, uh, in form of music, in form of such a badass music. Yeah, just thought that would be important to mention. I think it's a very heartfelt and honest um, work of art, you know, because as music, it gets that point across very, very beautifully, in my opinion. The musical aspect of it, actually, the production is, it, it sounds really good. There's, there's grit to it, there's punch to it. And not to the point where it's super, like, way too polished, way too clean. It's got that little uh, rough around the edge, which is really nice. I, I, I enjoy the kind of industrial sound that they still have in their music. I also really like the use of sampled um, ethnic choir. They've, they've done that a couple of times before on their most popular song, Tibet. And I also really like the Gojira-esque little... Uh, groove down in the middle of the song that was awesome uh the drums the bass the guitar there it was awesome and i especially wanted to uh, talk about the vocals too because the vocals are awesome in this the screams especially they they have that one section where he's going a bit higher than his usual screams and it sounds damn impressive to me but i, I just like his delivery and his tone specifically especially on that hook uh, which was very energetic, very heavy, very big and gritty. Mm. I love these boys so much. Can't wait for them to come back to North America with more touring. Uh, but this is Tribe. Uh, check this song out. Link is in the description. Let them know where you came from. You came from Bogdan too. Leave some nice and positive comments, so make sure you do that. But that is all for me. What do you think about the song? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, really appreciate you watching. This is me eating your attention span today. Don't forget to subscribe if you want me to eat your attention span tomorrow as well. Also check out my Discord. It's free to join. Also check out my Patreon. It's the way to support the channel. And of course, check out my Twitch. I stream every Saturday around 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But that is all for me. Thank you so much for watching. Love you all. See you in the next one.